As political leaders file their nominations for the election, the real buzz surrounds the question of who possesses what amount of wealth. This buzz intensifies even further when it pertains to key political figures like Prime Minister Modi and Congress leaders. So who is rich and who is poor? Let's find out. Prime Minister Narendra Modi filed his nomination from the Varanasi constituency on Tuesday. Now, according to Prime Minister Modi's affidavit, his total assets amount to 3.02 crore and he declared no immovable assets. This includes a fixed deposit worth 2.86 crore with the State Bank of India and around 80,000 rupees in two bank accounts in Gandhinagar and Varanasi. He declared he has only 52,920 rupees cash in hand. Intriguingly, Prime Minister Modi does not own a car, land or a house. PM Modi also has 9.12 lakh invested in national savings certificates, saving scheme and possesses four gold rings worth 2.68 lakh, as stated in the affidavit. The nomination papers further reveal that Prime Minister Modi's taxable income doubled from 11 lakh in the fiscal year 2018-19 to 23.5 lakh in 2022-23. On the other hand, Congress MP Rahul Gandhi declared movable assets totaling around 9 crores, including shares worth around 4 crores and mutual funds more than 3 lakhs. Gandhi has a total bank balance of around 26 lakh rupees and gold worth rupees 15 lakh 21,740. However, Rahul Gandhi does not own any residential apartment, motor car or any other vehicle as well. The immovable assets of Rahul Gandhi include agricultural land at village Sultanpur, Mehroli, New Delhi, measuring around 3.778 acres jointly held by him and his sister Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, and a commercial apartment in Signature Towers in Gurugram, measuring 5,838 square feet. For more updates on Lok Sabha elections 2024 and news across the globe, keep watching the Indian Express.